Right. We are a smaller group today. Um, does anybody want to start off with any questions that they've brought? I can also peruse my email to see if I have any recent questions that I've had. But did Mary Jo get her thing set fixed? It sounded like it, but I, yeah, I would like to ask her what was going on there. Um, I know we've dealt with errors in the past and we have like record of what they were. So I wonder if it was anything, you know, under those, um, you know, what we've already seen. When I go to events now and add it to my Google calendar, it seems to work. Okay, perfect. I was going to ask you um, because that was something that our team was moving into, you know, finalizing, I think earlier this week, so. Now it works with the PC. I haven't tried it with my iPad or my iPhone yet. So. Okay, yeah, let me know. It, it should hopefully follow the same um, as your PC, but if anything is out of line, for sure let us know because that should have been resolved. Mary Jo, we were um, talking about you uh, before I, you joined. I had my sound turned down, sorry. No, no worries. Uh, because we were curious if you're, the issue that you were having, um, you mentioned in the Google group, and I can bring that up, um, where I think you were trying to uh, add an article and whatever the content was, for whatever reason, after you were yeah. clicking save, it was saying error. Yeah. and. Um... The reason I thought maybe, you know, the reason I sent something was because I know that people other than myself have encountered this, you know, as a group. And I thought, oh, I better let her know. And in the meantime, I did go back, but I, I left it for that day. Then I went the next day and I thought, okay, let's do one chunk at a time. And so one of, it was from a Facebook posting and okay. one of the uh, things I had just copied and pasted was a um, uh, I don't know what you call it, but when the the bitly, the small link, uh -huh. that was, was part of it. And then there was maybe, and then I thought maybe just generally speaking, because it's Facebook, it had something to do with it. So um, was anyway. that the bit you left out? Like the Facebook post was what you left out? Well, I, 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 like I said, I was experimenting with doing just a little bit chunks at a time. And, um, and, and I can't tell you what it was that was, I think it was probably that URL on that, I think. Okay. So I just added that separately, but I don't know. Has anyone had experience like that? I don't know. I've definitely seen it happen with emojis. So our system oh, doesn't support you have emojis. told us that. Yeah, that was the example that I remember as far as, oh. so let's say you are um, copying the code of an embedded Facebook post, Twitter <gasps> post, whatever it is, but it could there have an was, emoji. There, there was a little thing at the end and I don't even know what it was. It almost looked like a leaf or something. Okay, whatever, so, even if it, yeah, even if it's a little square or a dot, but if it's an go. emoji. You can just there remove you. the emoji and then keep the rest of the post yeah. and it should save. Oh my gosh. And I remember you telling, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must no. have been it. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> if anybody wants me to like recreate that issue so that you know what we're talking about, I totally can. I didn't even I think, recognize the I think, emoji. Maddie, I read your lips. That would be yes. great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let me go to. Always default to go to our pages. Actually, sorry, it might be easier to look on Facebook since I won't have to click through every single post. So let's see, am I able to embed this? Because I have three emojis there. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so embed. Copy, let's pop back over. I'm gonna go ahead and masquerade real quick. Okay, so let's just do this on the home page for the example. Okay. So actually we don't see it here in the Facebook post. Let's test that out. I can leave it as a draft there. Okay. 
Hmm. So I'm now I'm not remembering exactly which social media um, it was that I had seen it before. Maybe it was Instagram, um, but this seems to work as far as if the emojis are in there, Facebook posts should be no issue. Hmm. Um, well, that's interesting. Was it, and you mentioned Facebook posts, right? Yeah, um, I was, I copied and pasted and there was, I remember there was an emoji after the bit URL. Cause I thought, well, maybe the bit URL might have something to do with it too. I don't know. Could it have been because well, you were copying and pasting rather than embedding? Oh, I see. Yeah, if you were copying like this. Well, t trust me, I don't know anything about taking something from Facebook and embedding it and all that stuff. <laughs> Let's see. If I were to, whoops, I just want to copy emojis because that's really the issue. Um, like I said, the previous example that I remember, I, I don't remember exactly which social media it was, um, but you could actually like visually see a little emoji image so it'll be easy to detect because you'll see like a little picture um yeah. so that you would just remove those i'm gonna test this in WYSIWYG here okay yeah so they do come in and i'm not sure i don't even want to test uh saving that but um yeah, those okay. aren't going to be recognizable. Was yeah, that so about, like, about so the process? So if you do go with cut and paste, let's see if I can do it from the WYSIWYG side. Yeah, so whoops, I'm trying to delete those. And sometimes, you know, if, if whoops, I'm coming back up. If you think that um, you maybe didn't get it all, you can always highlight or at least highlight the, whoops, the beginning there and then use that little eraser you might have to add the formatting back but just in to give you, you know the peace of mind if you're still getting the error but after getting rid of those little emojis you could save the rest of the post but i would recommend embedding it if you're trying to get um well that's a whole other story i don't know if okay. no 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 you know can, can you demonstrate for mary joe because i don't think it's that hard yeah to embed. I'm going to actually work with a different page so it looks a little more like a, like an article. Oops, that's not my actual news. Let's just go here. Okay. So, and this goes with, I think, any um, post. I actually haven't tested it if I'm not like a manager of the account, but it should be an option. Um, okay, so so just hold on. You found you found a picture or you found a post, a Facebook mm -hmm. post, and you right clicked, and, and you got something called embed. I clicked on the three little dots to oh, the right of the. Oh, okay, you, okay, I didn't see that. Okay, mm -hmm. so those three dots open up that menu. Okay, and then we go to embed, and embed brings up this pop up window. It looks like you have some options here. You can have just, you know, you can have the full post with the caption um, or just the image. And let's see what advanced settings are. You'd have to do a lot of customization if you're trying to do much of these advanced settings, but I guess the biggest um, thing here would be that you can uh, manipulate the width of the post because automatically I guess it's just going to go 500 but I think we could do that manually as well but coming back to the Facebook embed um, code page when it says copy code is it just it's talking about the whole the the picture and it if you check the box or the box is automatically checked, so it will be the full post, but you can uncheck the box and it'll just be the picture and the like um, activity on it. Mm, mm. But either way, I'll, I'll do the full post, but copy that. Okay. And then let's come back to my edit page. 
you will want to be in HTML. So, you know, either switch it to that or use one of these boxes down below. I'm going to just replace what I have in this one. So I'm using the full HTML text editor and I paste in what I have. So this control, is control V. Yeah. <laughs> or, or right click, right click and uh, paste there. And then the width, if you needed to, you can manipulate it there. Um, we've talked about, you know, using percentages, you can make it as wide as the screen at 100% or play around with something smaller. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. And let's just save the draft for now. Why is that not coming up? Okay, let's try that again. Is it at the very bottom? I thought I had it. Yeah, it should be. It said it was done. It should be near the top. Okay, I'm going to try putting it up here as well. Yeah, it should be full and complete since I just clicked copy code. Let's try a publish instead. There we there go. We go. Might've taken a second to load also just because of my device and all, um, but there we are. And so this could also go in your sidebar too, if you wanted to have an embedded post. Um, we have looked at the, is it the page plugin? Yeah, this is the, the, the timeline where it has worked for some folks and I'm not, I've not seen like a, um, a formal like resolve from Facebook, but I previously had seen like a loading issue with this um, like version of it. So the timeline can sometimes present issues for your visitors, but the embedded post definitely works. And then uh, Instagram and Twitter, I think, have both similar can I, options. Can I ask a question it. before you yeah. do that? So, yeah. okay, so you said I had to change it, something to HTML. Then do I go back in and change it back, or does it just stay the way it is? You'd want it to stay in HTML. So Okay, okay. Yeah, I'd recommend using one of the extra paragraph boxes in the body with embed code section. Oh, so where it actually says, okay, I like that. Like down here, and then you can... Well, I have quite a few paragraph boxes added already, but then you could go here and add third party embed code. And, and so then it's you all, it already knows it you're do HTML. Mm -hmm. And then you can keep it separate from the rest of whatever okay. else you'll add. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any other questions about any of that? And I was just naturally going to show how Instagram and Twitter or X um, have those same functions because we were talking about Facebook. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So same thing. I'm opening up the posts that I want to feature um, and I hit on those three little dots in the corner and embed is an option. And then they are offering the same option as well. If you want to include the caption or not, check the box and we copy embed code. So come back to my page where I've had editing. And again, I would recommend same thing of just using um, a third paragraph box that you have here. Add to the one I already added at the bottom. Mm, I'll leave that as a draft. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, I wonder if Instagram has an issue with the emojis, but I'm not sure where I used emojis here. Any question? Did I have a question? Yeah. Yes. 
I have a question and mm -hmm. it's probably a dumb question, but I think I may have missed the very beginning of this. Where are you getting these things from that you are embedding? Is it from Instagram or from Facebook associated with the League of Women Voters and you just go to their Facebook mm -hmm. or their Instagram and then just copy that post? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I so want to make sure I understand where it came from. Oh, for sure. Yeah. To. Yeah. Let's actually do that with a, a different league since, yeah, when I click on Instagram, mine is just, I'm go just going directly to the page. But let's go as if you are starting the search. I'm going to embed a national leagues. I don't know if that would be there. Handle. Whoops. Is that not? There it was. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and show hmm. with Twitter. Okay. So hopefully that that works. So um, I search for the page. And I think even if it's a repost or their original post, yeah, the three dots will be in the corner and embed post will be an option. And then Twitter's a little bit different with Facebook and Instagram. These the next options like this would have popped up in the same screen that you were in previously. But this, you just, you know, opens up and it opens up a new tab and you have the option to embed a video uh, post or just a regular uh, image or text post. So when you do this, I mean, like Facebook and, and Twitter and all, or yeah, I guess it's X now, um, you have to sign in to actually see those. When we embed them, does that bypass the need to sign on to sign in? Or will our people need to sign in to see it? I am actually not sure. Um, let's test it a bit. If I, well, my changes might not show to the general public just yet. Because I did add, what was it? The two Facebook posts and the Instagram post here. So I'm right now, what I just did was opened a new web browser and I'm not logged into it. I'm, it's just guessed. So technically it shouldn't know, you know, recognize my typical login in my usual browser where I'm signed into my Google and then I'm probably signed into like everything else. So <laughs> here I should be essentially incognito. Um, okay. The Instagram post. Oh, I think I did not publish that. But um, I think that it should be okay for those others. Um, I think the Facebook timeline was part of that issue where um, I think the login um, difference was like affecting it. I'm not sure if that was like all around why it is broken for some and bro not broken for others. Um, but it seems like these work regardless because I was able to see them on this browser where I'm logged in and that other one now. But wait, we can go ahead and um, finish for X and then um, maybe in a little bit we could test again uh, with that guest browser. So for this, you have the same option to like choose advanced settings here, like set customization options. Um, I thought you were able to edit the height here. It just talks about if you want it light or dark, um, and then what language. Would you like to limit context on this tweet? So um, I guess the conversation is probably not allowing them to, hmm. maybe if there was extra retweets. I'm not exactly sure, but let's go ahead and update that. And we copy code. 
And this time I'm gonna put it in my sidebar actually. So I'm going to my home page. I'm going to edit draft there. And the sidebar, if, if we are not familiar, is the section for red and blue sites under your donate button, um, but it's always under your search bar. So this section displays on every single page of your website. So it's a great place to put um, stuff that you want folks to see, you know, often. So I'm coming back. This is my home page that I'm editing. I'm scrolling down to sidebar content. And I'm just going to use the top section here. We always want to go to full HTML when we've copied any code. And then I right click to paste. Here we go. So this one will probably give us some issues if I went straight to save, because we can definitely see that there are emojis involved here. Oh no. I see that I've been ignoring my um, hosting duties. Sorry, Jennifer, I usually throw that at you as co-host. Oh, is Jennifer not here? Oh no, she's, yes, she's. I was muted, sorry. No, no worries. I'm gonna still go ahead and do it. We're halfway in, but just in case. Sorry for folks that are just coming in. I I apologize. I was not watching the participants list. So I've just pasted in this embed code from Twitter. Um, and it is from a specific post. And we already see that these emojis come up. Um, let's go ahead and just show again what that would do if we try to save a post with emojis. The system won't tell you exactly what's wrong, but since we're you know talking about this, hopefully this catches your attention and you can get past this you know real quick. So it'll kick you back. Actually, it's worth switching up. Oops, kicked it out. But okay. So let's go ahead and instead just remove those. So I think what it's going to do is it's still going to display them because the post is being displayed through whatever magic, you know, uh, development Twitter has set up. So that shouldn't interfere, the fact that we took them out from what we're seeing. I'm just going to publish that so we can test it later as a guest or general public person. I think it's gonna, there we go. Okay. So my computer is definitely working a little bit slow, but um, sometimes you'll see for like a split second what you saw on my screen for like more than a few seconds. It will sometimes load in quotes and look like it's just text with hyperlinks but it's just the system, you know, taking a second to load that with Twitter. Um, but that's what an embedded post looks like. You again can embed it just like we did these others in any page that you want. Um, yeah, so they can be within a page or in the sidebar like we see once it gets there, there we go. Any questions about embedding social media posts? Well, couldn't one of us do a try to use access that page and see if it shows? Yeah, you sure can. Yeah, the demo do, site. Uh, what? Well, do, do we know what the URL is? Maybe you can put it in the chat. Yeah, it may not load just yet since the cache is always a name. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah. But I, I mean, I think it's, the question about permissions to access it is, is a good one. <laughs> well, you know? yeah, and if you guys are logged in, then that's one thing. And that's why with this browser, I was testing without any logins here or, you know, not being logged into Milo, not being logged into anything, essentially. I'm not recognized in this browser. Oh, so I the, see it. 
I see it. So are you logged into Milo? Uh, no, I'm my point is I'm not in X and I can see this. Right. Oh, I'm, I don't use X. So I can see it. You're what you've added from X. Okay. So but that's also, a good and, thing. And that's <laughs> while being logged into Liz. Oh, oh to Milo. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. logged into Milo, so okay. that gives me access probably quickly. But definitely, but, yeah. But but it still doesn't have to do with. Uh, well, maybe it does. But it sounds like you're yeah, like you said, you're not logged into X either, or you're logged into Milo, but you're not logged into X, and you're able to see it. So yeah. that Where answers the question it? there. Well, she she gave me the URL of of the demo of the page oh, yes, sorry. in the chat. Sorry worked for me too. Okay. Yeah. So that gives us some peace of mind that whichever channel you're using and wanting to embed a post, um, those are definitely going to work. I think that Twitter has a timeline option. Um, let's see. I'm just Googling. Whoops. Maybe that wasn't enough keywords. Let me just go through the Milo documentation page. So we have um, a documentation on the Facebook and the Twitter timelines. But like I said, the Facebook one, you might want to do a bit of testing on your end. Um, I think that what it landed on was that it was it was working for those that are not logged in but doesn't work uh, for those that are logged in, which is odd. But here, um, social media widgets is that documentation. I dropped it in the chat there. And yeah, um, you just go through the steps with Twitter and they make it pretty easy, I think. Oh, wait, I clicked on the wrong thing. So we start out at publish.twitter.com. It asks, it asks you for an X URL. So I have the league here. So I pasted that in. Let's go next. Yeah. The embedded timeline or X buttons. Not really sure what X buttons are. Okay. Follow or mention um, would be the options there. But an embedded timeline is nice, especially if you're wanting to add it to your sidebar. Um, here we go with the set customization options. You can uh, change the height or width. The width, um, I think I would recommend the percentages and we would change that manually. But height might be a good one because by default, it's pretty long. Like this is the length that it would be if we just went with what they're, you know, recommending. So height, you know, you might want to play around with it. I think 500 might be a, about the length of one or two posts. And we also have to think of it's not going to be as wide. So the content is going to shrink once we, like if we're putting it in our sidebar, um, then this 500 looks to be about, you know, the length of one post. But I think once it gets into our sidebar, it's probably about two posts that would show at the at the immediate. Um, so I would say I, I'm going to just go with that. Um, and you could also play around with it depending on if you have other things in your sidebar already. So we update um, and then copy code. We'll come on back to our home page. Let me actually make sure I just refresh the page. I thought I had published it. Yes. So new draft. And again, down to the sidebar, so sidebar content. And I'm just going to replace that one there. But again, you can add down in the sidebar embed code section. If you needed to add a new box or paragraph box, you could hit that button to add third party paragraph or third party code. Um, so I've added that there. 
Let's see. I was going to play around with the width, but let's just try without any changes. It might automatically size it to our um, sidebar. So let's publish that. And again, it takes a second to load. It might just show up as text for a, a brief moment. Okay, so it's not exactly two posts, but um, again, it's it's something that you can always go back and edit. Wait, it was Twitter publish. So you can always, you know, edit, update your customization options if you needed to um, reconfigure your code and, and change the height there. But then so, um, the visitor is able to scroll through there. Yeah. Yeah, Maddie. Yeah. So um, if you if you embed the timeline, will it like always show you the most current thing in the timeline? So yeah. That it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will stay up to date and refresh refresh itself, um, and then they're always able to open up, you know, the Twitter pages or X pages um, through the links here in the posts. Yeah. And that's probably when they're going to have to sign on, right? <laughs> I think so. Twitter. I think Twitter is pretty quick in um, prompting you to sign in. I'm going to mm -hmm. check again the, the guest browser here to see if I'm seeing it just yet. No, not yet. Do we have any other questions right now? Uh, this is Mary Jo. So <laughs> I'm just wondering, I've never seen any that those Juneteenth, that Juneteenth graphic and the one about July 4th, maybe those are really old, but you know, I would have enjoyed think, having those. I think yeah, they're right. a year, I think they're a year old or they're pretty recent because that that image I did take from the National League. And when you say take it from the National League, so typically, you know, I'll, I'll go down to Facebook and see if they've got anything. Mm -hmm. But, and I know there's a, a library of sorts, but I don't know where in that library it shows pictures like that. I wish they had like a holiday, you know. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think they Classic categorize thing. it like that. Yeah. But I think what I did yeah, was- I wonder where you found it. Well, yeah. let me show you. Cause I did, I did take that from the National League site um, I came over to league management. Uh, you, you know, you, if you're visiting lwv.org, you go down to the bottom, click league management. Right, 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 right. I believe I just searched June team. <laughs> okay. I believe. And then they have Juneteenth oh, resources. Okay. Yeah, they are a year okay. old. Um, okay. Yeah. And they so have, as them, long think, as there's not a date on it. Yeah. No. And they have them formatted for okay. Facebook. Oh yeah. Twitter, Perfect. Maybe. Thank you. Okay. And it's just a zip folder that you have to download. But yeah. Oh, and Twitter. Oh, so wait. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and League in Action, which I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's just a different size um, of image. But yeah. But there I could have just, just used that picture if I was happy with it rather than bothering with getting them all, right? That yeah. too, I think, yeah. Th this is an image itself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I just wondering, um, I sent something to our uh, one of the people who was doing our Facebook, and she said they still don't are not allowed to get back in. I just wondered if anybody knows what the status is. I have not heard okay um, much else. I I know that there were there was talk um, in the group a while back about it where different leaks have had issues previously with either getting their um, page flagged um, yeah. or just completely blocked and taken down. Um, I'm not sure if there was ever anybody that provided like, like what they were able to do to resolve it. Yeah. Um, okay. Thanks. I was shocked actually. I thought that I would have, somebody would have heard that <laughs> it still wasn't working and that somebody was, trying to get it back. <laughs> so if if y'all were curious, if you're part of the Google group, if you're not, let me know, I can add you. Um, but this is like to visit it if you're able to get in online. Um, otherwise it would just be a past email from March 29th. Oh, 
Oh, um, oh, you went back to it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember this was the last talk. I don't think everybody was essentially, unfortunately, sharing frustration. I don't think there was yeah. ever any um, resolution. Mm -hmm. Mary Jo, this yeah. is San Sandy Kerr, um, Bucks County. We Ours finally got resolved. And I think we were able to get some assistance either from our state league oh. or national. So let me let me reach out to our Facebook administrator and find out what who she contacted or how this worked out. But it took about I don't know six weeks, and it, then suddenly we were back in. I mean, it was just this weird. We never knew why, and you know they just. So I will um, I will send you uh, the information. Okay. Is that something we could post to the Google group? Um, oh, yeah, I will. I will yeah. post it to the Google group. Yeah, okay. if you could respond to that thread or even start Thank a new you, one. Sandra. Yeah, okay. Thank Do you. you think we might be getting kicked out because haters are reporting our sites? Because it has someone to do with has reported us. Yeah, it, it could be, or it, 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 I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. It could be that, or it could be, you know, mods are just flagging it for political content just because of their. AI and I, I yeah, yeah I'm not sure um but I don't feel like this is a new thing at least with you know AI becoming more used in workplaces so it it unfortunately has already been an issue for leagues I believe because we're just yeah. we're next to political um you know comment not commentary but like that we're in that arena but it is not technically under that which i think it should not be under their scope of what is political um yeah. should be flagged I, I i just know that you know there are, are extremists that don't like what we're doing with voting and consider us you know highly partisan and very political you know i mean and we are political right but you know it's not about partisanship but to them it feels like partisanship Right. We've been running yeah. into quite a few of those kind of people. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that that could be part of um, just issues that you have with Facebook, unfortunately. Um, I, I don't think there's much of an issue with the other two channels, um, X and Instagram. So that's, that's a good thing. That's good. So I have Deborah and then I have Nancy. Um, okay, so I was, I am tr um, trying to clean up um, the um, web browser in the My Leagues files. Mm -hmm. And I've gone to the, um, you know, the homepage, manage files, view all files. So I viewed my files and I cleaned those up. But how do I, in that um, manage files, is there a way that I can find like just what belongs to our league? I've, if, I've tried to sort different ways and I, I'm just, I'm not finding them. Yeah, so that that is the difference. Um, the If you're going this way where, like you said, you start out at your homepage or anywhere where you see the administrator league menu, and you're going to manage files. Mm -hmm. This is just your library of files that you have uploaded. So through this way of getting to look at the media library, there is unfortunately no way to see your league's, you know, collective files. So, um, you know, if I am, a, I'm in a league with, you know, Jane Doe, she is only going to see her files here. I'm only going to see my files here. But where we can see them together is when we're editing content. So let me go through. Actually, I have this one I can open. So any page, we open a draft. And we do have to be in WYSIWYG. 
And so you open up the media browser and it's, this is where you get that option of my leaks file. So it's only when you're about to insert um, media, that's where you can see them all together. But now, okay, so now I want to clean those up. I want to delete some of those and get those out. They're old stuff that we don't need. But don't you have to, the only place to delete those is in that manage file. Through here, yeah. So it would have but to be But then how each, do I find those? It would have to be each webmaster going into their own manage files to clean up. So like, so then our, okay, so some of these files would have been created by the webmaster from seven years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I would need to track wow. her down. What, what I could do too is if, if there are situations like that, I can, you can make a request and I can um, typically, typically we don't cancel users until it's requested of us. So that's why you'll often see content that might still belong to a previous somebody that you know that is just not in the league anymore. Um, mm -hmm. You can just let me know uh, the username. Um, mm -hmm. It may not be a quick turnaround, but I'll do my best to get that person deleted and I should be able to um, move over their content. I'll have to double check. Um, so, so is there a way though that I can, so like the previous person, I mean, she's still a member. She just isn't active on the, you know, keeping our site mm -hmm. updated. Is there a way that I can sort by her, her name? I was trying to do some sorting, like the, you well, know, to like bring up my name, to bring up her name. Gotcha. And I, I there wasn't. Unfortunately is not, um, okay. but so, so you mentioned that she is no longer managing the website. Um, if she doesn't need access, um, if you, and if your um, members only is not being used, like the private section, I would mm -hmm. recommend just you, you can take over or edit her account and edit her password essentially so that you can then have access to log into her old uh, account and then you can then essentially manage files through that logged in account, if that makes sense. Right. Okay. Well, I probably wouldn't do that because um, if, if I you... keel over, she, <laughs> she's the only one, she's the only other person in our lead that could get into here. So I don't want to, I don't want to do any of that. I just thought maybe there was something on this, um, you know, manage the files, a way of sorting information that I I wasn't getting so well as yeah okay. no unfortunately as far as all view right. all files you can just narrow it down the through the same criteria oh you do you can narrow it down by user but then you don't have any options to delete uh since you only can delete your own own files. stuff mm -hmm. got it all right okay thank you yeah and, and what's the difference between my my legs files and my files uh, let me go back so my league's files, let's say you have multiple webmasters, it will be you and all of the content or all of the media that those other webmasters um, also uploaded. And then my files is you, your files only. So it'll, it will be exactly the same as what you find here under manage my Milo files. Oh, okay. So my league's files would have the ones that she's looking for, right? Yes, but she's not able to delete them. She was wanting to to be able to sort by that, but also to be able to, you know, take action on it, um, either delete them, maybe change ownership. But unfortunately, those aren't options if you're not the, you know, if you didn't upload the content, um, then there aren't options to the same as like here that when I look at manage my files, I have the option to edit or delete. Um, you only have the option to edit here but that does not give you um, further options to like change ownership or delete. But what if you deleted the page? The content would still exist. I think the issue is that when you're looking through here, she's trying to clean out, you know, the list so that it's not old oh. content that they're looking through. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Um, it seems like a really, really onerous thing to worry about. I guess, I guess if you saw my desk, you'd understand why I said that. <laughs> but, but, you know, you, you want to make sure that they're not in use. And I mean, it just takes a huge amount of time. And is your, I mean, you, I would value your time more. Just my opinion. I think you can see if they're in use, though, right? But maybe that's yeah. But right. it's tedious. You have to go yeah. through each one and look and see if it's, where it's used. It says two places, zero places, one place. And I'm, I'm not can... sure. Also, that I, that might be if you use it through the media browser. But if you just you know link to it, it might not show up here. Right, that is very true. So, if, yeah. yeah, if folks are just, you know, in the HTML, putting image source and then plopping in a, a oh, URL that's... for an image, those won't show up here. Mm -hmm. But technically, if an image gets deleted, then that one would, you know, be broken as well. Right. Okay, I have Nancy, well, and then I'm going to add... I, my, my question is on this, if, if nobody else is... The other two are not on this. No. Sure. Oh, so can you show me? OK, so if I want to get rid of some of the pictures and some of them are easy that, you know, you nobody's going to use because it's a dated flyer. OK, so so you go to manage files, mm -hmm. manage files. And you can so the either pictures, they show up right away, huh? Yes. Okay. What do you what do you mean? As far as like loading, they loaded. Yeah, I guess I, 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 yeah, maybe I just haven't even tried. So this must be a really long list. It very well could be. Because I went it, to seven pages on the, I think, on it looked like when, when you, you went it. down to the yeah. bottom. So well, okay, yeah, it goes, it goes pretty long. Um, and then yeah, the the page. And then I just, I just click delete somewhere. You can either do it one by one. Sorry, I just want to go back to the top here. Yeah. So you can either do it one by one, um, and I think it it asks you real quick if you're sure. Um, and then once you click delete, then it finishes the job. I'm just going to go back. The other option is to check the boxes right. and then execute delete. Now, if it had been something that um, someone else, like uh, Jennifer, if she had put it in, it wouldn't allow me to delete it. Is it right. Yeah. Okay. And, and you wouldn't even see it in this list because this is your oh, manage my okay. files list. Thank you. Thank you. But one thing I wanted to point out too um, is that similar to like Deborah's question, um, if you have files that belong to somebody else and you want to change that ownership, um, I do believe that change value should be, um, you know, that option. Let's see. No, no, let me see if, if that is an option because that might be a quick um, way to do it. As long as like, you know, the other webmaster who owns the account is willing and able to take that step. Now, doesn't that okay. impact, though, your history? Like some of the stuff I have with embed events, I embed things. And if I go back and, and delete those embedding things, when I look at the history, well, it, it'll screw what... I think it would just be the picture wouldn't be there, maybe, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm right. thinking. Yeah, so let me, let me go ahead and let's do that. Let's delete this picture I have at the top because I think I just have it on a test page. So um, I just clicked on here one place sometimes it'll okay. say two or zero whatever it says this is the usage information so um i just opened it in a new tab but it tells you all of the places where this image is used and it it can be old versions like old revisions have this image so it's always good to check to actually just take a look at the page because sometimes the image may not be there like, actually, I think I don't have it on the current revision. So if I delete that image, technically it won't even be missed because 
it's in an old mm -hmm. revision unless they were trying to revert back to that old revision but hopefully they would see you know the broken image before they proceeded um but let me try it with an actual image that's there so this little demo image i think i do have somewhere here let me see about whoops um opening the image in a new tab is what i always do in case i needed to find the image name and so it's always whatever's in front of dot png dot gif dot jpeg uh where are my files let's try searching no okay it might not be my own image sorry i thought this would be easier because i thought i would have ownership of these images sorry i'm just trying to move quick to okay to test this so what i did in case this ever you know is needed i just right click on images if i see something and you know if you're trying to do it like me i'm trying to find a file in the media library i just open it in a new tab and i pull out pretty much the end of the url whatever's in front of that dot file extension um, that's going to typically be the name sometimes folks that are uploading it can change the name i mean that, that's always an option so um this is not a foolproof way but let's go ahead and Wait, again, we check the usage. Whoops. Oh. I'm not sure why that's happening. Oh. Okay. Like you delete, deleted some of the locations. <laughs> I wonder if this image, well, it's showing up for me, so it should be mine. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's funny. I don't want to, you know, like I always recommend if, if it is in use, we always want to check it out since I'm not able to check it out for whatever reason. Um, I'm just going to leave that one alone. I did want to show an example of what it would look like, but essentially um, it would be a, a broken image icon if you've ever seen one. And whatever you put in the alt text field would show up as text. So um, that's just normal procedure for broken images if they're ever deleted or, you know, whatever for whatever reason, if they're moved. But our system will track if a file is replaced. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next questions since we're kind of rounding near the end. Uh, Nancy, and then Maria, I have you on the list. Okay, thank you. Um, can our league do redirects? Uh, this prompted. This question is prompted by the wish of our league to change what that primary nav navigation says, what our headings are. So if we did that, would we have to uh, get your help to do all those redirects or can we do that ourselves? And if so, I haven't seen how. And so the, the, is the goal to be able to see something different up in the address bar uh or? yes in part but like right now one of our headings is voter service and then we have next to that elections so we were thinking about for instance just to give an example we were thinking about combining those okay. in some way and just calling it vote so yeah. if we did that, could we accomplish all that ourselves or would we have to enlist a bunch of redirects from you? It would be a combination of both. Um, okay. I am going to just show you a, a top, you know, it sounds like your menu might be across the top. Is that? Yes. Okay. Yes. We have that view. Yes. Okay. Throw so um, it, it would be the same as if it were, you know, a menu on the side. But essentially, like you're saying, if you wanted to merge a couple of these together um, to make sure that all the pages are landing to that, you know, final new page, 
Um, mm -hmm. It may take a redirect or two from us, but what also your page would do is, um, well, I, this might not be a, a great example, but let's see. If I do a new draft and change up um, this URL, then what our system does is it tracks that change. So right now, the, the page's title will always be part of what is building your URL. Um, so let me just go okay. back in. Okay. And what I mean by that is it builds up the last part of your URL. Mm -hmm. um, we go back here. I'm going to change this to something completely different. And then I'm all, all the way at the bottom here, mm -hmm. there's menu settings. And so um, you may or may not already be using this option. Um, if you aren't already, I would still recommend doing this. It just, you know, after you initially make this menu link, you may have an extra menu link than you were looking for. So we would just go and edit the menu and, and delete that old one. But um yeah, go through this menu settings option. When you click on provide a menu link, the link title automatically gets filled in by the page title. And then the description, I think I added that myself, uh, but that's just if um, when folks are hovering over the menu option, let me come on back. Sure. So you, it might be a little hard to see, but you see when I'm keep my mouse on top of that menu option. It says open and read our reports. Yes. So that is optional. Um, uh -huh. And then as far as the parent, if you want it to be a, a main level item, then leave the parent as mine is sample local, but yours will be your league name or whatever you've named your menu. Right. Um, or you can have it tucked in under any one of the other menu links that you have. Okay. But I'll, okay. leave, I'll leave it as the main menu item and then I'm going to publish mm -hmm. and save. So there we go. Okay. Um, so now it's called something else. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That will help, I think. And then also I wanted to point out too that the page is named something different, but the URL also changed with it. So in the back end, <laughs> what we don't see um, is that a redirect is created automatically from the observer reports URL to this social media URL. So okay, the so that happened automatically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but then let's say, you know, this other, this, let's take this donate page, for example, is the other page that was part of the merge, but is not the one that is being renamed, that will okay. probably be the page I will need to redirect for you. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. That'll give me enough to get started. Yeah. Thank you. For sure. And then um, I'm not sure, Maria, there we go. Still have you there. I think I'm, I'm just going to um, try maybe the next time. It's not urgent. It had oh. to do with removing a web, webmaster. Uh, that pass away, but uh, retaining all her images that have been created. Okay. Yeah, I will. Um, and I think I, I might need to get more information for you uh, about that because that my, my question that I had earlier about if we're able to change ownership of media um, from mm. a user to another user, I think that would help in your situation. So mm -hmm. I will ask our tech team for more info on that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll take your name down. And then uh, Maddie. Yeah, so I just have a quick question. I don't know if you saw the email that I sent you. I think it was last week sometime. Oh, yes. Uh, about my domain name. And I talked to the Dotster people who are now web.com. And they were telling me everything is working perfectly fine. But when I type our domain in, it it Googles it. <laughs> and so I don't know what's going on. Sometimes it seems to work and sometimes it doesn't. And I was just wondering if you had any input on that. We can take this offline if 
if you'd rather. But um, I was just, I just tried it again and it, you know, it, it, it when I keyed it in, it wasn't working. So um, I think it is, um, it, that's one thing I still need to pick my, um, our tech team's brain about, but that I believe might be related to SSL certificates, but I didn't, mm -hmm. I wasn't exactly sure because also that's an added expense typically, um, unless it's something that your domain provider might include, you know, as part of the package. But, um, I think the issue was that it wasn't working when the HTTPS was assumed. Um, it sounded like the, let's see, I'm gonna type it in without the S here. Uh, and what happens is once I, once I search it up directly with the HTTP exactly as it should be, my browser will remember that and it will yeah. know to ignore the S in there. But what browsers love to do is assume, and rightly so for safety and, and security, they're going to assume that domains have that S included in that in that piece. Okay. Because I I sometimes we put www in front of it. And some, you know, it's hard to know what's working and what doesn't, because sometimes that works. Yeah. But so and what you're saying, I think, is that if we put HTTP colon slash slash that should work Is yes that... yeah getting okay. folks into the practice of typing out the full um address and the the difference in the www is is that is a subdomain of your domain which is lwvventuracounty.org like that simply is your uh full domain but the www is your subdomain and it should um you should have both pointing to the same place. Um, oops, I forgot to include the www. So, so you're getting to it. Yeah, because I noticed that like, again, with the cache, I, I cleared all the, the, uh, the history <laughs> and um, that didn't seem to help. So uh, just caused me some other issues, <laughs> but um, so yeah, I, would, I would say about looking into that. But at the same time, I will I will run that by our tech team because okay. um, if it's not something you have to add on, um, I'll see how how else it might be resolved. But you yeah. said that your domain provider said that everything is working and looks good on their end. You know, I, I it was in a chat. Oh, okay. And so, you know, he keyed it in and it worked for him. <laughs> and so I'm not sure how much depth there was to that because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Right. Well, maybe yeah. you should maybe you should take advantage of your paths here and ask us to do some tests for you. Because okay. it may it may be that when you do it, it's a different behavior than what it's for the normal public. Right, that's what I'm concerned. I mean, that's that's what I don't know. So, so yes, there, that would if, be great. If you can yeah. put something on, you know, instructions on what, what you want us how, to do. How about I, I just that. put it in the chat? So it's okay. uh, in chat. Well, okay. Yeah, thank you, folks. If anybody needs to yes. uh, jump out of um, the session today, thank you. So, so you should be able to type that in what I just put in the chat and it should take you to the website that you're seeing on uh, Marisa's screen. Okay. You know, what, um, I, know, I haven't thought much about it, but one topic we could consider is the issue of succession planning, you know? How, hmm. how do you provide for a new webmaster or uh, how, what kind of backup do you have? Um, is that a topic that we could discuss? And when you say backup, what are you referring to? Or well, what do you? Uh, well, what? How about you become incapacitated for for two weeks or something? And somebody else needs to take over. Or maybe you're having surgery for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know how. 
what do we have to consider when we're doing this to, to make it so other people, I mean, I have another person who does, works on the web, but I never really worried about ownership of my images before. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will see what, um, like I said, I'll see what options if we can or have anything like that as far as changing ownership of media, as far as if someone is just temporarily incapacitated, I think that the fact that you're able to already see your league, your league's files when you're um, wanting to insert content, it, you know, that should work as far as images that were already uploaded, you still can make use of them. Um, but then if it becomes an issue of um, that account is going to be essentially uh, closed, but you don't want to lose that content, um, yeah, that's definitely something I can see about, um, see if that is an option, you know, to be able to change ownership there. You know, oh, Maggie, I mean, Maddie, that worked for me. I, I, yeah, I see that. So, well, that's good news because I actually have been telling people don't put that on our flyers and stuff because it doesn't work. But it sounds like maybe it does work. It just doesn't work for me. It, it worked for me as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys. And you know, to speak to Liz's thing, yeah, I've got Mary Jo, so I figure I can die. And she'll take <laughs> She's got <laughs> Mary Jo is uh, objecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we have work instructions, and I just basically dumped all my knowledge and all the links and all the passwords and all the sign-ins and you know everything into that and. Um, that's basically kept on our on our server. Each of the each of the roles in our league has to write up their work instructions. So nice. that's one thing. You know, I, I put like the links to the libraries with the images and you know, Amarus, your contact information. Great. You know, all that is in there. So, you know. Is it encrypted? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, uh, I don't know if it's not encrypted. It's, it's in our documents, which not everybody has access to, but the board has access. So it's not super secure. And yeah, if there are links to anywhere in Milo, you know, that aren't public, they're going to require a login. So that's, that's the yeah. protection there for sure. Awesome. Maddie, if you're, you know, ever willing to share that, I feel like I've, had at least a league or two every now and then ask do you have any like direct instructions i can provide because i feel like our documentation sometimes for local leagues can feel a little too like um a higher view and sometimes they would like a more direct view of exactly what local leagues need to do on milo to keep keep the engine flowing <laughs> Well, I can certainly share that. I mean, and, and I do reference the your how tos and all of that. Um, which and I can always, you know, are great. <laughs> I, I can always, you know, depersonalize it. So, you know, yeah. whatever links are personal to your league, I can, you know, clear those out. But okay. yeah, that would be awesome, Mandy. I will send that to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.